again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. We're doing some lamb shanks today. Got some lovely, well, a couple of really lovely, hefty little fellas there, which we're going to cook in a kind of Middle Eastern Arabic style. Absolutely delicious. We've got absolutely fantastic flavours in there. I mean, really sort of fun packed. Black lemon, garlic, ginger, cloves, dry chilli, this cardamom, on and on. There's a lot that goes into this. It does take a little while, but it's really worth it because the results, I mean, that is incredible. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started. Got a couple of really nice chunky lamb shanks here. So a bit of bone in there and some beautiful meat. Now, as you can see, I've scored it open just a little bit, you know, like so. What we need to do, we're going to first start by frying this with a touch of oil and salt and pepper only. What we want to do is kind of seal it, get a bit of brownness on it, and then we can move on to making a beautiful, beautiful sauce. Okay, so I've got a pan or a skillet or whatever you want to use. I'm going to drop in some oil. I'm using some olive oil today, and I'm not being that shy of it. It's you know, a nice bit of oil there. To that, I'm just going to add some salt and pepper. We're going to be adding lots more spices later, but just to seal this off now, just salt and pepper, and that goes. And then we're going to grab our shanks <coughs> and drop them in. So, without going crazy heat, kind of medium heat, I want to fry these around for about five to six minutes. I mean, these are fairly chunky little fellows. In five to six minutes, turning them a few times, getting some nice colour on there. So as our lamb is cooking away, I thought I'd show you the next step and what we're going to be using. So I've got a ton of garlic there. There's like, I don't know, 10 cloves of garlic that I've cut really chunky. And the same with fresh ginger, some beautiful amounts of both. Here I've got a black lemon or dried, you know, dried lemon. You can get that in powder form, I've got it whole. If you've got it whole, what you need to do is pop a fork in that and just break it a little bit so it releases the inside goodness. That gives it a beautiful, beautiful flavour. Cinnamon, I'm going to throw a couple of those whole sticks in there. Cumin seeds, really kind of an essential part of this dish. And then a few green cardamom, a little bit of optional dried chilli if you want, and a few cloves there. So what's going to happen is once our meat's done, we're going to take it out. We're going to fry some onions with this garlic and ginger and these herbs and get it moving. Okay, they're looking beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely nowhere cooked, by the way. We've got a long way to go. But we've got some nice kind of colour and browning on that. What we're going to do now is set these aside, put them on a plate and set them aside. And then I'm going to take that oil to fry our herbs that I just showed you in, because that has got some beautiful flavour in it now. Okay, so we're now in... My pressure cooker, we're going to use a pressure cooker for this because we want this meat to be super, super tender. So look, I've just taken them out, can you see those, look beautiful. Now, heat's on. We're going to use that same oil that we fried them in, because like I say, there's loads of goodness in that, loads of flavour. We're going to start off now by dropping in that chunky garlic and that ginger. Then we're going to add our cumin seeds, our black lemon or dried lemon, that cinnamon, and then here to remember the green cardamom, a few cloves, and a little bit of optional dried chili. Amazing. Now, some chopped onion. Some more salt in the mix. And black pepper. And on this kind of fairly lively heat, let's 
blow these around for about three to four minutes. Okay, now I'm just going to drop in some fresh tomatoes. And again, let that go for about another two to three minutes. Amazing. Let's now drop in our shanks. Plenty of water. Definitely enough to kind of cover them there. I know that's probably about a litre and a half of water. Okay, now I'm going to pressure cook it. So what I'm going to do is get my pressure lid on, which is here. And it's going to go, once it reaches boiling point, it's going to go for about 15 or 20 minutes. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can, of course, be doing this but you really need to multiply the time of cooking maybe by three or four. Okay, so that was actually on for about 40 minutes for me, but that is really lovely and tender now. So what I'm gonna do is get that out, set it to a side here with this bowl. That's really lovely, really good. Out that comes. And like I said, just gonna set that aside. Now, some people would put that in the oven and roast that a little bit, that meat, but for this one, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. What we are gonna do is add some little bit of spices here. So here I've got some coriander powder, turmeric, and these are all equal parts, and cumin. Now, that water there, is just so packed with some lovely, lovely flavours. Now I've got here some, I'll just show you there, some rice that I've washed about three times. I'm using a basmati rice. So yeah, I've washed that about three times and then left it in water for like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna add that in. And then again, we're gonna get the lid back on. Still a little bit here. We're gonna get the lid back on. Pressure this up for just about eight minutes, I would say. Eight or nine minutes once it reaches pressure. Just get a little touch of water in there. And then we should end up with an amazing, amazing rice full of incredible flavours and a little bit of colour now to put those spices in, especially the turmeric. So lid back on, gonna be eight, nine minutes. Okay, so I've just obviously turn the heat off and took taken the lid off. Now this is quite wet at the moment, full of absolute amazing flavour, which I'm happy with. So I just want that to sit. Just give it like five minutes and it will kind of steam out just a little bit. Okay, so my our rice is just steaming out a little bit. I've got a pan here with some butter, now, or you could be using ghee. Now I'm gonna drop in here some nuts. I like to use a kind of mixed nut, some raisins, and then I've got these which are a, a raisin again, but just a kind of different type. It's gonna heat up. Now, some people would just use almond nuts, of which, you know, come in the shell and you kind of boil them, get the shell off, and then do that. But this mixed nut I like. I'm also got here some dried pomegranate seeds, which I really love in this dish. So yeah, you could be using some other dried fruits if you wanted, raisins, sultanas, you know, maybe even a few dates or something like that and a really lovely kind of sweetness. Anyway, what we're doing is we're just frying these around in this butter, just for like, you know, two minutes max or so. 
keep it moving, we don't want it to, to burn. And then we're done, so we've now got all our components. We've got our rice, which is absolutely delicious. We've got our meat, which is right here, that we've set aside. We're gonna put that on top. We're then gonna sprinkle, in fact, this is done now. We're gonna sprinkle our dried fruits and nuts over that, a little bit of cilantro or coriander, and it's done. Let's go and do that. Okay, and there you go. So, layer of the rice. The rice is, is not really dry, it's quite soggy in a way. So a lovely sort of flavour to it, and kind of, I don't want it too dry. Our meat is absolutely super tender and lovely, and we've got that sweetness of the fruit in there, and like I said, just a little bit of cilantro or coriander on the top. That is really, really beautiful. Takes a little while, but it is good. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?